Hey guys, this is Jeff with your tarot hit for the day. Uh, maybe uh, this is going to hit you at the right time, at the right moment, whenever you just need a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of a guidance, maybe a new perspective change, maybe you got something going on in your mind right now, you want to act upon it. I don't know, let's, let's sort of gear that towards this. What if you got something on your mind a little bit that you're thinking about acting on it or not? What would be the best sense to proceed? What would be the best way? Let's find out what's going on here. Give this a little, I don't know why I like to cut like that. I just do. I just do. Here we go. Fantastic. Page of Rods. Really. Talk about getting ready for the sense of getting into something active. This is the page before you actually do it. I love that. Wonderful eagerness. We have the Six of Swords reversed. We'll talk about that in a second. That means it's just communicating with somebody else. And then we have another page. Wonderful. Moving forward with the sense of caution, maybe feeling a little bit more empowered with a little bit new idea. That's what this that's what this spread is inferring to me. That thing that you could be thinking about moving on with, maybe it's asking somebody out, maybe it's asking for a raise, maybe it's, I don't really know what it could be. <laughs> that's not really the point. I can't. <laughs> But whatever that sense of eagerness is, and really notice how the left-handedness, I talk a big lot about, and I'm actually linked below with my right and left-handedness about the tarot. Notice your characters, what hands are more dominant, higher or lower, depending on whatever they're holding. I tend to think as their right hand is being active and very dominant in what's doing and what's happening and what's giving, where the left is receiving, anticipating. Uh, the more yin energy, the more passive energy, the more active on the right. We can see that this left, very passive hand is much more dominant on this page, Raj, which means to me it's not just barely hanging, just barely above the right hand, but there's really that pressing matter that you have about should I act, should I get going, this being the fire, this being the wand, or this, you know, the Morgans call it the rods. Whatever you happen to be thinking about or came into your mind about, I'm really thinking about getting into this, I'm really getting eager about it, keep those positive expectations. But this could be the day where you decide to share those with somebody else. Not always is that a good idea, and as a fact, matter of fact, rarely is that a good idea to, sh to share your high intentions with somebody. But in this particular case, if you happen to catch this tarot hit of the day today, whenever you're thinking about sharing or asking for help, asking for advice, today would be the good day because you're going to be moving forward with a sense of a little bit of caution but feeling empowered. Notice how that sword is tilted to the right. Notice how that sword is sort of getting really before you get to the night. That really fast active. This is a really wonderful place for you to really pay attention to the communication. Yes, your boat's getting into calmer waters as it's sometimes understood, and I totally get that. But whenever this wonderful Six of Sword comes in reverse, for me, and it may flavor your soup of understanding as well, it's as if those swords sort of fall out, which is why I love the imagery's transferred here, to really get up, look around, see who's around you, and notice in your decks also, your sixes in your decks are going to somehow, in one way or another, infer that there's some sort of like someone higher than the other, like an unequal relationship, but not inferring a bad sort of tone or one upsmanship or someone holding something over somebody else. Maybe that's possible, but not always. So there's someone there to help, like this woman here. You know what I mean? Maybe she's not even aware that there's someone right behind her who's actually helping steering the boat. Maybe perhaps that is you. And in this reversed energy of this six of sorts, perhaps you get the gumption to take that eagerness to move forward in your dream, your idea, your possibility that you want to act on. Look around, try to get some advice, try to get some insights, try to get some inspirations from them. And then here with this card, take that conversation, take that take that module of knowledge and then just get right before you get to acting in that night phase, have a little better idea why that sword is so dominant and strong and tilted forward is that you're going to take the insights and it's going to get you to a better, better stance than just being the page of swords, just eager, 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 eager all the time. Like if you're eager to do something, but you don't have an insight on from anybody else telling you how to go about it or how to move forward, then you just sort of stay in this phase forever, especially today because this is your tarot hat of today. Look around you. Ask some, for some advice or some uh, inferred permission, and then right there, then you begin to go. You begin to go, maybe with a sense of uh, um, 
uh, enlightened caution like this card generally means to me. All right? I hope that hits you at just the right time for you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.